A fire wiped out thousands of plants, putting one urban farmer on the verge of losing it all. Without a greenhouse, Alyssa Isle grew plants for the winter in her northeast Minneapolis basement. Just when she thought she was done for, some fellow farmers sprung into action. Erin Hassanzada shows us how they saved the season. In the shadow of this giant rabbit in northeast Minneapolis. This is Max Rabbitat. You'll find Alyssa Isle tending to the California street farm. The organic produce here goes to local families, restaurants, and farmers markets to nourish her community. I love food so much. So for me, like food is this great connector. But earlier this month, it was Alyssa who needed help when a fire at her duplex wiped out months of work and almost leveled the operation. It was completely overwhelming, I would say, in that moment. But then her friend asked other farmers to step up. She made a list of what Alyssa needed to keep going, and the produce poured in. From Hager City, Wisconsin to um, Litchfield. So we've got shishito peppers, sweet peppers, And kale. all of this was donated? All of this was donated by farmers across the state. Some are friends like Chris Barth, who donated plants and greenhouse space. It's been uh, kind of a groundswell from all the farmers who have kind of been there, done that. It's a testament to the community that she has also fostered around the farm that she has. Some of them she's never met. But what do you want to say to them? Oh my God, I want to say thank you so much. <laughs> There's no way that this farm would be able to continue to run without that support. But now she's heading into the season stronger than ever. I think it's going to work. We're going to make it happen. <laughs> Feeling like you have a community of farmers holding you up and supporting you is just the best feeling in the world. In Minneapolis, Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO News. You can buy produce from California Street Farm right at the farm stand Monday nights from 4.30 until 7.30 from June to mid-October. It's also available every Saturday morning at the Farmer's Market in Northeast Minneapolis.